Welcome back for a brand new episode of Third and Go. I got my boys back with me. This one's been humbled. Yeah, we still, we actually, all of us lost this week. But let's talk about it. So we all suffered terrible losses this week. Our teams, respectively, Rams, Ravens, Steelers. First well, time this first time this year, first I'm pretty time, sure. Yeah, wow, three that, three that's teams wild. Lost. Oh. What's more funny, though, there, there's one loss, and we're gonna get to each loss individually. One loss is just so funny. You know what? I the the clip can do better for me. Roll the clip, Mario. From 39 early on, and it's to tie it. Good snap. Good hold. And the You know, I wasn't expecting to watch the uh, live action reenactment of Charlie Brown, honestly. You know, I know, you know, live action, you know, remakes are the big thing, but, yo, the Steelers nailed that one. What's going on? What's going through your head, bro? By the way, welcome back to the table. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, perfect time to such, bring you back. Such a, such a perfect, time to come back. Damn you know? timing. <laughs> to come. Steelers, I, I, can't, I can't talk to y'all, please. Three-game losing streak right now. Mm -hmm. All on the last play of every game. Y'all heading to play the Patriots. All three weekend. games have been faulted by a missed kick of Chris Boswell. They've all been three-point losses. We couldn't get the overtime. We couldn't even tie. Couldn't do anything. Our defense can't cover shit. Our secondary is shit. We have a top-five offense and a 30-second defense. And no fucking kicker. I have to say, no kicker whatsoever. What are you? What are you? What, he gets the big money. Goes yeah. to the Pro Bowl, which I thought was bullshit last year because we all know Justin Tucker is the best kicker in the NFL and AFC by far. I give credit when credit's due. You come out this year, you miss six field goals, five extra points, have probably cost us four games this year, I will say. What the fuck? And also, the Steelers' defense, outside of the defensive line of linebackers, the little secondary we got, what are you doing? You can't cover anybody. We have had, we've had four interceptions the whole year. How do you have four interceptions the whole year from the secondary? Are you kidding me? And you want us to win something. So I'm going to say it like this. We have the Patriots this Sunday. We have the Saints after that. And the Bengals week 17. It ain't looking too pretty. I'm not going to bury you yet, but you're on life support. If you lose to the Patriots on Sunday, I'll be reading a eulogy on the Steelers season next week. I promise you. Now, oh, damn. On to other losses, though. I mean, a moral victory here. The Ravens, oh, yeah. we fell to the Chiefs in heartbreaking fashion where our secondary couldn't really do anything. Probably cost us the game outside of a little fumble there. Yeah. But, but we kept up with one of the best teams in the NFL. I give credit when credit's due. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't expect. I mean, I did. I expected to be called close. It. I called it. You called it. But to see it was a different emotion. To see it actually coming out, I was like, oh, my God, we could beat them. You could beat anybody. You guys have, what, top five defense? Yeah. It, was it ranked number one across a lot of categories? Yeah, I think so. Outside everything. Mm -hmm. um, give credit to Lamar Jackson. I was one of the people Gerald was talking about who was saying Joe Flacco needs to come back in and be the gunslinger that he is. But Lamar proved to me that Flacco would keep his ass on the bench. Um, the Two concerns that they did bring up, the ball security issue mm -hmm. um, is one of the major things, but he should be okay with that, a little coaching, a little tweaking. Mm -hmm. And the injury concern, because he takes a lot of unnecessary hits. And he doesn't, I don't think he's learned how to slide yet. He does a lot of head-first diving. I don't want to see him get caught and injured for no reason. He's too good of a talent, and I think he could be something in a couple of years. He's already showing promise. Yeah. So don't get hurt on trying to save the world. That's all I'm saying. And I don't think there's any shame in going into Arrowhead and losing Hell, a game, especially not at how all. close no. it was. That's a hard place to play overtime? in general. Overtime. Overtime. Which probably, I'm not going to crown them the going to the Super Bowl, but they're one of the teams that could probably be in the Super Bowl. Easily the, the second best offense in the NFL. Easily. And overtime. I mean, Easily. come on. So that one, I know that stung for you, bro. I know it stung for you. How you feeling, Justin? Oh, man. We're coming down the list. 
Could y'all move back to St. Louis over the weekend? Because <laughs> oh, y'all motherfuckers suck. <laughs> Look, it was a it was a defensive ball game. It was in this it was in the Bears stadium. I mean, this stuff kind of stuff happens. We all knew the Bears had an amazing oh, defense. Yeah. I oh, yeah. again, I called it. You Chicago did. is one of the we best teams. Ball in the NFC. Everything he's been on. Fire Except for it. my picks, if you watch the old <laughs> picks show, I can't call picks to save my life. But Chicago, one of the most low key teams out there, even as Mitch Trubisky threw multiple interceptions, almost cost me a fantasy football game, which I actually knocked you off. Man, this has been a weekend of losses. Well, for you, you can bro. talk about knocking me off, but we're looking at a man in the middle over here who took a few little. Woo! This week. Yeah. Um, oh. Knocked out of your own league again, Justin. What's going on, man? Not only that. Two but, years in a row. Not only that. Yeah, I thought we weren't going to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> but was it by who you were knocked out by, man? The worst GM, as he calls himself. Sean, shout out to you, buddy. Changing your team name mid-year. Real classy. (laughs) (laughs) Don't worry, you'll recover. It's always next year, and the Rams are in the playoffs. Yeah, we we know it. It's it's a wrap. But Rams will see Chicago probably again. I honestly see that. Yeah, in Chicago, now people have to start taking them serious because, like Gerald was saying, they're under the radar. They could, if they took out the Rams, they could probably hold the Saints up. Yeah. You know? I mean, you, I mean, I don't know. I think the Rams forgot they had Todd Gurley on their team. Oh, right? they so, definitely did. I don't know what the hell they were doing. What was that about? Um. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, we Chicago, we're, we're watching now. We mm. got my attention big time, bro. All eyes on the Windy City right now. Well... How about them Dolphins? Usually it's how about them Cowboys, but how about them Dolphins wow. blessing Ooh. us? Blessing, because when the Patriots <laughs> lose, America, America wins. wins. <laughs> and just the fashion. I have a bit. couple of Patriots fans that are probably watching. So I don't give a damn. <laughs> shut up. I hate the Patriots with passion. Go deflate the balls. Anyway, the way the Dolphins did it, <clears> hook <throat> and ladder, and then. The play it, never works. It never works. And there was, was insult to injury. It's 70 yards to the end zone. You have Gronk playing safety. Can we talk about it? You don't have a wide receiver. Gronk. <laughs> you don't have With no legs. He barely has elbows. Gronk has, yeah, like what? He runs a 4-9 flat. Oh. Couldn't ca- he, and Kendrick Drake blew by oh, him. God. So, Patriots kind of deserved that one. I'm glad they lost and made my week a lot better, especially with stuff yeah. I've been dealing with, you know. But. Dolphins, you know they're they're. I think they're four and one in their last five games. You know what? If we got time, Mario, let's show them that play. Let, let's go back and watch that play. <laughs> it was amazing. Tannehill will throw it, and this will end it after the shovel. Or will it? Miami running around, circling. Oh, look out! Gronkowski didn't have the angle. Touchdown! Dude, that reminds me when we used to play football back in the day. That's some like, like that's some backyard football style stuff. That's that bullshit. Come on, (laughs) how does that happen? But but we'll say this: it happened twice because the Steelers did it. They did it too, and we lost. But they did it too. So two hook and ladders in one week. (laughs) Two. Two bullshit plays in the last 30 seconds of the game this week? Justin, thoughts? <laughs> I mean, my thoughts are the Dolphins have beaten the Patriots in their own stadium. Uh, well, I mean, in, the, in Miami quite a few times, actually. But, I mean, it, it, was, a, it was definitely a great play, fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's let's be real about this, fellas. They beat the Patriots by the skin of their own nut sacks. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, like, it wasn't like they blew them out or anything like that. It so. doesn't matter if you win by inch or a mile. <laughs> Winning's winning, bro. The pa- Patriots lost, America won. And Shit. half the New England is burning Tom Brady jerseys because he plays defense, apparently. Go burn football. your Gronk jersey. Like, what fact, are you doing? Burn, burn your Belichick cutoff hoodie because he's the one to put Gronk at safety. Don't get mad at Brady. Mm, Jackasses. Nah. Anyway, so we said, how about them Dolphins? But How about them Cowboys? And the words of Skip Bayless, and I'm not going to bang on the table and start doing all the little dances and shit. How about them Cowboys? We, we got to start taking them serious. I mean, Wow. I mean, the fact that, I mean, they bounced back. Amari Cooper, I hate to say it, there's no other logic to this. Amari Cooper was the missing piece. Yeah, the number one receiver. <laughs> and you know what? He's done more for Dallas than Dez has yeah. already. And I'm not, first round pick right now is looking like a robbery. 
Yeah. Because he's made, I mean, Dak Prescott still shit in my opinion, but he's made them a better team. You take away the threat. You had, they've always had like eight, nine in the box with Zeke. Mm-hmm. You got to start loosening up a little bit. And then yeah. He's feeding the ball off. And their defense is playing phenomenal. I mean, we saw what they did to the Saints. Yeah. You know, they could keep up with anybody. If they I mean, the, the Cowboys are playing good defense, and that's something that you haven't really seen in a while. Mm-hmm. You know, the Cowboys are playing good defense. They have a solid number one wide receiver, mm-hmm. no question about it. Mm-hmm. Obviously, one of the top five running backs in the game. Mm-hmm. And Dak, who can – he can, he can manage. manage. He can yeah. manage the game. Let's, let's be honest here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he did more than manage it this week. Mm-hmm. Ever since, actually, ever since Amari Cooper's been on the team, Dak Prescott's been looking a hell of a lot better. Mm-hmm. And I think it's funny because when you know Cooper first came out of the draft, you're looking at him thinking like, man, this guy could be a superstar. Yeah. Then you know he's been very inconsistent on the Raiders. He kind of they kind of traded for him at a time where everyone thought like mm-hmm. he's not a number one receiver. And now all of a sudden again he is. Mm-hmm. You know, on a new team, it just doesn't make sense, honestly, to me. Like, what changed? I mean. I mean, he goes to the Lone Star State, finally becomes that star that everybody knew he was. Culture. It, there it is. It's the culture. culture Honestly, shit. you look at the Browns who have changed their culture. Okay. Look at them. I mean, Oakland is the pit of misery. Oh. Dilly dilly. Yeah, they, I mean, they could be the pit of misery. <laughs> they put the, put us in the pit of hell this week, so we got to start uh, looking at them a little bit. I ain't going to look at them too much. Maybe Not next too year. much. Maybe a couple years from now. I mean, let's be honest here. I, I'm going to be real with you. That was a fluke win. That, that was a fluke win. You guys shouldn't have lost that. If you had a better kicker, you guys would have won that game. Well, we'll, we'll trade you for Justin Tucker. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Two first round picks. You don't have Royal Farms in Pittsburgh. Sorry. Uh, very <laughs> true about that. <laughs> very true about that. So, this past week, we did our first poll. Yeah. Um, Gerald and I had a disagreement on who should be the MVP of the week. He wanted George Kittle, who did ball out at the tight end position. Like but he nothing. did all of his damage in the first half. And then fell off. He was two yards. I think they said he was two yards away from having a it's record. two or four from two, beating Shannon Sharp's all-time yeah. tight end record. Like, y'all couldn't have thown a man a flat route oh, and let was, him run that, off. That's that so pissed petty. Me off. That's, That's petty. He could have let the man get the record. Come on. But then I was thinking, and I hate talking about Jacksonville every week, but Derrick Henry ran all mm. over them Thursday. Mm-hmm. There's already been one safety in this half. Drive starts at the one and looking for a little breathing room and they get that and plenty more. Derrick Henry still going. Stays in bounds. He might go. 99 yards for the touchdown. Unbelievable. Let's see, 17 carries for 248 yards. Four touchdowns and 14 yards per carry average. <laughs> How the hell on rookie mode in Madden do you do that? Rookie wow. mode, cheat mode. Like you have it on rookie mode arcade. <laughs> like arcade. Like what? How? And the 99 <laughs> yard touchdown run was 99 a thing of beauty. Yard it was a thing of beauty. He stiff armed seven people. Jalen Ramsey stood there and just watched him run down the sideline. Not gonna give you smoke this week. Just saying what I saw. <laughs> You know, he was stiff arming linebackers, linemen, safeties, throwing people out the way like trash. Yeah. What? As we said, <laughs> we gave we gave the option to our fans. We put polls out on Facebook and Twitter, and sixty seven percent of you chose Derrick Henry over Kittle. So in honor of that, Jimmy tossed the game ball for us. Derrick Henry, the Alabama man, the one Crimson Tide rolling SOB. This one's for you, buddy. There we go. So that does it for third and goal. We have a lot of new content coming out this weekend. We have the Grinch movie review. We are recapping last weekend's UFC's event. And this week, Pat's all over that with Justin. And on top of that, third and goal, where we talk about the Orioles' latest edition. So, yeah, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our videos. Put the word out there. Take care.